Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Basenji, and today we're going to be diving into the exciting world of Roblox trading. If you're looking to make huge profits, you've come to the right place because in today's video, I am going to be talking about 10 proven strategies that will help you maximize your profits and dominate the trading scene. Tip number one Stay up to date on the latest trends and popular items. This is key to finding the best trades and making sure you're in the know about what's hot and what's not. You can keep an eye on Roblox social media and forums to see what people are talking about, or check out websites like Rolemons that track the most valuable items in the game. Some examples of popular and valuable items might include limited edition clothing, hats, or gear that is no longer available to purchase from the Roblox catalog. These items can be highly sought after by collectors and are often traded for high prices. But don't just focus on the most popular items, sometimes lesser known items can be just as valuable, if not more so. These might include items that are no longer available through normal gameplay, such as event prizes or items that were only available for a short time. For example, if you were able to get your hands on an exclusive item from a Roblox event, you might be able to trade it for a high price to someone who missed out on the event. So make sure to do your research and keep an open mind when it comes to the value of items. Another way to stay up to date on trends is to follow Roblox influencers or content creators who frequently trade items. These players often have inside knowledge on what's hot and what's not, and can provide valuable insights on what to look for when trading. So make sure to follow some of your favorite creators and see what they're trading and talking about. Tip number two, don't be afraid to negotiate. Trading is all about finding the right deal, and a lot of people are willing to make a deal if it means getting a good trade. So don't be afraid to haggle a little bit to get the price you want. Just make sure you don't lowball too much, or you might turn off potential trading partners. One good way to negotiate is to come prepared with market research and a clear idea of what you want to trade for. This will help you make a strong case for why your offer is fair. For example, if you're trading for a limited edition hat, you might look up the current market value for similar hats and use that as a starting point for your negotiation. You can then present this information to the other player and explain why your offer is fair based on the market value of the item. Another way to negotiate is to be open to trade offers from other players. If someone approaches you with an offer, don't be afraid to counteroffer or suggest alternative trades. This can be a great way to find a deal that works for both parties. Just make sure to be respectful and open to compromise. Trading is all about finding a mutually beneficial agreement. For example, if you're trading for a limited edition hat, you might look up the current market value for similar hats and use that as a starting point for your negotiation. You can then present this information to the other player and explain why your offer is fair based on the market value of the item. Another way to negotiate is to be open to trade offers from other players. If someone approaches you with an offer, don't be afraid to counteroffer or suggest alternative trades. This can be a great way to find a deal that works for both parties. Just make sure to be respectful and open to compromise. Trading is all about finding a mutually beneficial agreement. Tip number three, know the value of what you're trading. It's crucial to have a good idea of how much your items are worth so you can make informed trades. There are a few different ways to determine the value of your items. Check websites and forums. There are several websites and forums that track the value of Roblox items. These can give you a good idea of what items are selling for and how much they are worth. Some popular sites for tracking Roblox item values include Rolimans and Roblox Wikia. Just keep in mind that prices can fluctuate, so it's always a good idea to do your own research as well. Check the Roblox Developer Exchange, RBXD. The RBXD shows the current market value of items based on the average price they have been sold for on the Roblox Developer Hub. This can give you a good baseline for determining what your items are worth. Do your own research. In addition to checking websites and forums, it can be helpful to do your own research to get a sense of what items are worth. This might involve checking out the Roblox catalog to see how much items are currently selling for, or looking at recent trades on forums or social media to see what players are willing to pay for similar items. Tip number four, don't be afraid to hold onto items for a while. If you come across an item that you think has potential to increase in value, it can be worth holding onto it for a while to see if the value goes up. However, it's important to keep an eye on the market and be aware of any changes in demand for the item. 
Here are a few things to consider when deciding whether or not to hold onto an item. Research the item. Before deciding to hold onto an item, it's a good idea to do some research to see if there is a demand for it and if it has the potential to increase in value. This might involve checking websites and forums to see what people are saying about the item, or looking at the item's history on the RBXD to see if it has previously increased in value. Consider the item's rarity. Generally speaking, rarer items are more likely to increase in value over time. So, if you come across an item that is particularly rare or hard to find, it might be worth holding onto it for a while to see if the value goes up. Keep an eye on the market. While you're holding onto an item, it's important to keep an eye on the market and be aware of any changes in demand for the item. If you notice that the item is becoming more popular or that people are starting to pay more for it, that could be a good sign that the value is increasing. On the other hand, if you don't see any signs of increased demand, it might be time to consider trading the item while it still has value. Be patient, but don't hold onto an item for too long. While it's important to be patient and give an item time to increase in value, it's also important not to hold onto an item for too long if it's not showing any signs of increasing in value. If you've held onto an item for a while and it's not gaining any traction, it might be time to consider trading it while you can still get something for it. If you're enjoying these Roblox trading tips and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Your support helps me to create more content and bring you the best information on all things Roblox. Plus, subscribing ensures you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest tips and trends. Tip number 5. Know your trading limits. It's important to be realistic about your trading goals and not bite off more than you can handle. If you trade for high-value items without the resources to back them up, you could end up losing out in the long run. Here are a few things to consider when determining your trading limits. Know your budget. It's important to have a clear idea of how much you can afford to trade with. This might involve setting a budget for yourself in terms of in-game currency or real money, or determining how much you're willing to spend on a particular trade. Having a budget can help you stay within your means and avoid making trades that could put you in a difficult financial position. Know your resources. In addition to your budget, it's important to consider what resources you have available for trading. This might include items that you already own, in-game currency, or other valuable resources that you can use to make trades. Knowing your resources can help you make trades that are realistic and achievable, rather than taking on more than you can handle. Have a plan. If you're aiming for a high-value trade, it's important to have a solid plan in place for how you're going to acquire the resources you need. This might involve saving up in-game currency, trading for items that you can then trade for more valuable items, or finding other ways to acquire what you need. Having a plan can help you stay focused and achieve your trading goals. Tip number 6. Diversify your portfolio. Having a diverse inventory of items can help you weather any market fluctuations and give you more options for future trades. Here are a few things to consider when diversifying your portfolio. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. It's always a good idea to have a mix of different items in your inventory, rather than focusing on just one type of item. This will give you more options for future trades and help you avoid being too reliant on any one particular item. Consider the value of your items. When building your portfolio, it's a good idea to consider the value of your items. Having a mix of high and low value items can help you balance out your portfolio and make it more resilient to market fluctuations. Think about the rarity of your items. In addition to value, it's also a good idea to consider the rarity of your items. Rare items can be more valuable, but they can also be harder to trade. Having a mix of rare and more common items can give you more options for future trades. Keep an eye on the market. When building your portfolio, it's important to keep an eye on the market and be aware of any changes in demand or value. This will help you make informed decisions about what to include in your portfolio. Don't be afraid to experiment. Diversifying your portfolio doesn't mean you have to stick to the same types of items all the time. Don't be afraid to experiment and try out new items or categories to see how they fit into your portfolio. Tip number 7. Don't be afraid to take risks. While it's important to be smart with your trades, it's also important to take calculated risks every now and then. Here are a few things to consider when deciding whether or not to take a risk. Do your research. Before taking a risk on a trade, it's a good idea to do your research and make sure you understand what you're getting into. 
This might involve checking websites and forums to see what people are saying about the item, or looking at the item's history on the RBXD to see if it has previously increased in value. Consider the potential rewards. When deciding whether or not to take a risk, it's important to consider the potential rewards. If the trade has the potential to be lucrative, it might be worth taking a chance. However, it's also important to be realistic and not get carried away with unrealistic expectations. Weigh the risks and rewards. It's a good idea to carefully weigh the risks and rewards of any potential trade before committing to it. If the potential rewards outweigh the risks, it might be worth taking a chance. On the other hand, if the risks seem too high, it might be best to pass on the trade. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you're unsure about a potential trade and don't feel comfortable taking the risk on your own, don't be afraid to ask for help. There are plenty of resources available, including websites, forums, and more experienced players, who can give you advice and help you make informed decisions. Tip number 8. Use the trading system to your advantage. The Roblox trading system is a great tool for finding good trades and making deals with other players. Here are a few things to consider when using the trading system. Utilize the search function. The trading system has a search function that allows you to look for specific items or categories of items. This can be a great way to find the trades you're looking for and make sure you're not missing out on any opportunities. Make use of the wishlist. The trading system also has a wishlist function that allows you to add items you're interested in trading for. This can be a great way to get notified when someone has the item you're looking for, or to let other players know what you're interested in trading for. Keep an eye on the notifications. The trading system sends notifications when you receive a trade offer or when someone has accepted one of your offers. Make sure you're checking your notifications regularly so you don't miss out on any opportunities. Use the messaging function. The trading system has a messaging function that allows you to communicate with other players about trades. This can be a great way to negotiate deals and iron out the details of your trades. Tip number 9. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you're new to trading or just looking for some advice, don't be afraid to reach out to more experienced players for help. The Roblox community is generally very helpful and friendly, and there are plenty of resources available to help you get started. Here are a few things to consider when seeking help. Join forums or communities. There are plenty of forums and communities dedicated to Roblox trading where you can ask for help and advice. These can be great places to connect with other players and get insights on the latest trends and strategies. Reach out to experienced traders. If you know someone who is experienced in trading, don't be afraid to ask for their help. They might be able to offer advice and guidance based on their own experiences. Utilize resources. There are also plenty of resources available online, including websites and guides, that can help you get started with trading. Do some research and see what's available to help you get up to speed. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you're feeling overwhelmed or uncertain about trading, it's okay to ask for help. The Roblox community is generally very helpful and friendly, so don't be afraid to reach out and ask for guidance. Tip number 10. Have fun. Trading can be stressful at times, but it's important to remember that it's just a game. Don't get too caught up in the numbers and the value of your items, have fun and enjoy the experience. Here are a few things to keep in mind when it comes to having fun while trading. Remember that it's just a game. Trading is all about finding good deals and making smart moves, but it's important to remember that it's just a game. Don't take it too seriously and try to have fun with it. Find a balance. Trading can be a lot of fun, but it's important to find a balance. Make sure you're not spending all your time trading and neglecting other aspects of the game or your real-life responsibilities. Explore new trading strategies. Trading can be a great way to experiment and try out new strategies. Don't be afraid to try out new approaches and see what works for you. Connect with other players. Trading can be a great way to connect with other players and make new friends. Don't be afraid to reach out to other traders and see what they're up to. Take breaks. If trading is starting to feel overwhelming or stressful, it's okay to take a break and come back to it later. Remember, it's just a game and there's no need to put too much pressure on yourself. I hope these tips and tricks have been helpful for getting started with trading on Roblox. Remember, trading is all about finding the right deal and being open to negotiation. With a little bit of patience and persistence, you'll be well on your way to building up your virtual inventory. Thanks for watching and happy trading!